Hey guys, Extrasify here. Welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, I'm going to be highlighting a open world gold farm that you can easily make 20 to 30,000 gold an hour with. And if you have some buddies to help farm with you, you can easily make over 50,000 gold an hour. This farm is absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So guys, we are in the Eastern Plaguelands here on the map at the Corin's Crossing area. And basically what you want to do is run around killing all of these like ghouls and ghosts in this little town here. Now the main items we're after are the Dark Runes as well as the Essence of Undeaths. Now these are nice materials that easily go for a couple hundred gold each on the auction house. And along with that, you obviously have a chance for some great transmog sets and epics and blue world drops. So always keep an eye out for those nice transmog drops as well. Now, since this is an open world farm, you can have up to five players in a party, all killing all of these mobs. And they force respawn, which really, really helps with the amount of mobs you kill per hour. Now I did this solo just to show you guys the lowest level of results in an hour. So let's go ahead and jump into the loot that I got. As always, if you guys enjoy my content, make sure that you're subscribed, like the video, and check out some of my other gold making content as it really helps grow the channel. We just passed 2400 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy to me as I've only been going hard at YouTube for a few months. So I really appreciate you guys' support and we are growing stronger every single day. So with that being said, let's get back into today's video. So guys, I figured I would come on over to Moonglade and chill on this comfy little spot right by the lake as we discuss our loot that we acquired in today's video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So like I said, obviously the Essence of Undeath and the Dark Runes being the main items here. We got a total of 48 Essence of Undeath for a min buyout of 6,200 gold or 6,500. And we got 44 of these Dark Runes which have a slightly less value, but of around 5,000 gold there. So in an hour of materials that'll sell instantly, we got 11k, which, which is pretty good. Not bad at all, certainly. But then on top of it, we actually got a really nice epic. Uh, we got the green tower. Now, I would have preferred a different epic shield, the skull flame shield, which is worth like over 100,000 easily. But I'll take it. I definitely will take it and won't complain. We got a BOE blue drop. Nothing great though. It's a necklace, unfortunately. The necklace of Calicia. Or Calicia. Uh, about 1300 gold on my realm, but it's a necklace, so I don't know when I'll expect to sell this. I decided to keep all of the greens though. A few of note the Brigade Breastplate. We got the Huntsman Leggings. These are pretty nice, about 1000 gold region wide, 700 on my realm. We got the Jouster's chest piece. This is really nice, but it has a low value on my realm. This one sells really fast. We got the Chief Brigadier armor or Brigadier armor. Uh, a couple thousand region wide. Low on my realm though, because you can get this from Oldman, and a lot of people farm Oldman on my server, unfortunately. We got the Glyft breastplate, about a thousand gold region wide. Again, same thing. Low on my realm, because you can get this in Oldman, and a lot of people farm Oldman. Got a decent cloak here, and finally the best green transmog I believe that we got, the Jouster's Greaves. These are a thousand on my realm and four to five thousand region wide, so definitely nice there. So in total, nothing too amazing with the transmog apart from a few pieces, but overall just nice additional loot from this farm to get as along with the main things. We are farming the Essence of a Death and the Dark Rune, obviously. So all in all, definitely happy with the results. And as you can see, the Bag Appraiser add-on is putting this at 28,352 gold, which is really, really nice. Now, I know that the green tower is making up for 11,000 of that. So if we didn't have it, we'd be at around 19,000 for the hour, which is definitely solid, almost 20,000 gold an hour. And along with that, it's an open world farm, so you could get a bunch of friends or people to farm with you, up to five players in a party. And you can just force respawn those mobs over and over and over again. When I was farming this, I literally never ran out of mobs to kill. There were always mobs up. 
So overall, this farm is really nice. And yeah, I just think that this farm is really, really slept on. No one really talks about it. I know Studen has made a couple videos on this spot, but that was a while ago. So I figured this spot needed some highlighting as it's a really nice material and transmog. And it's an open world farm, meaning that you can have additional players and really ramp up the gold per hour. So now that we've gone over why this spot is so great, let's go ahead and check out what the Dark Runes and the Essence of Undeath are really used for and highlight some ways that you can really increase the gold per hour by crafting. Alright, so let's go ahead and open our blacksmithing. So if we go ahead and type in Dark Rune, as you can see, there is a set of three items that you can actually use the Dark Runes along with some Thorium and some True Silver to craft into crafted transmog. Now the dark rune gauntlets and the dark rune breastplate are actually unique appearances, meaning that any collectors will have to buy this specific item if they're trying to get it for their collection. So that always really helps when selling transmog. But the plate helm, the dark rune helm, has a couple other appearances that share it, so it's not gonna be worth as much gold. So along with that, we also have the Essence of Undeath, which is used for the Annihilator, but as well as Persuader, you have Corruption, which is actually not sellable, but it looks really, really cool. I mean, look at how sick that is. But the main thing with the Essence of Undeath, obviously I don't have this unlocked, but again, this is the same thing. It's the old school Nox Ramus items that you can craft, and... It's just absolutely sick how cool some of these items look, man. Um, so obviously, if you have this unlocked, you will be rolling in the dough as you can farm up these materials and put that towards this. But even if you don't have this unlocked, like most people don't, you can definitely just go ahead and sell the materials raw and make a lot of gold solely from that aspect of this farm. So guys, to quickly recap, the farm is in the Eastern Playlands at the Corrin's Crossing. We're farming for the Essence of Undeath as well as the Dark Runes. And the more people that you have to farm with, the better as the more kills per hour equals the more Dark Runes and the more Essence of Undeath and the more transmogs you'll get. So even if you don't have friends to farm with, you can easily expect to get around 20,000 gold an hour. And overall, it's just a really, really nice farm that no one really talks about, or I don't think many people really farm in general. So I highly recommend that you guys give this a try. So guys, thank you very much for watching this gold making video in its entirety. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this gold farm. Let me know if you have any recommendations for other gold farms you would like me to try and to highlight. And with that being said, good luck with your auction house sales, and I'll see you guys in the next gold making video.